So today, like I said, today's topic is on image and marketing and really just on the basics of how to get your chapter's name out there. Why image matters, it's kind of central to everything for a chapter, because without a strong image, um, it's harder to get uh, new members for your chapter. And when you have difficulty getting members for your chapter, that means difficulty getting leaders for your chapter. And the leaders are responsible for running activities for your chapter, which in turn uh, creates or, you know, leads to the lack of image on your campus. And obviously this is a feedback cycle. So the stronger your image, the more all of these things are gonna improve. And the weaker your image, the more all of these things suffer and it keeps going. So when you're thinking about uh, image for your chapter, we have three basic steps that we like you to consider. First is just to think about what kind of image you, you actually want to promote on your campus. Um, and this is going to be different for each chapter because, you know, each chapter has its different needs, different population, uh, different community, different environment, different situations. So this is going to be up to you. But some examples of what kind of image you might going to go for, it might be something focused on professional achievement. It might be something more community focused with a lot of community service or something like that. Um, it could be very social focused, so much more on mixing up um, Tau baits and getting them to socialize with each other, uh, for example. Or it could be on uh, more like professional and personal development of its members. There's all sorts of different images that you could promote. Step two is to consider what kind of activities can you do that would promote the, the image that you want. So for example, if you're going for like the professionalism route, um, maybe doing stuff like Fancy Fridays, where every Friday or every first Friday of the month or something like that, all of your members dress up, something like that could, could work for that. Um, if you're going for more of a community-focused thing, trying to do service events that are going to be visible on campus, so maybe campus cleanups, or maybe doing uh, community service events that are open and advertised to all engineering students. If you're more socially focused, holding socials on campus, um, a big popular one that a lot of Tau to Pie chapters do is they run an engineering barbecue, like a barbecue that is open to all engineering students. Um, if you're going for more of the professional development, um, you know, obviously speakers and workshops and panels fit right into that category. But no matter, no matter what you're doing in all cases, um, one big thing is making sure that you're posting photos online of the activities that you're doing related to the image that you want to promote. Um, candidates do in fact look at these. Uh, so I've been an advisor for two chapters and on both of them, I was added to their Facebook basically as an admin. And I could tell every single time that the eligibility letter went out because even though it wasn't linked, uh, we would suddenly get a ton of more views than normal on our Facebook account. So we knew that the candidates were going through our Facebook and looking at exactly what we had posted. So make sure that if there is an image that you're trying to, to, um, to promote that you are posting stuff that is gonna be relevant to that image. And finally, step three, uh, make sure that you're really thinking about what kind, uh, you know, how well you are running your events or how well you're running acti an activity, because this can be just as important as the kind of activity that you're doing. Um, students can usually tell when something is done either carelessly or thoughtlessly or last minute. Um, so you want to avoid making it look like you are not prepared. You want to look like you're prepared and you want to ideally be prepared, but at least look prepared. Um, and that will leave a, a huge impression on, on everyone that sees what you're doing there. So just something to consider there. If you're in the case where literally any positive recognition would help and you just need stuff to get rolling, uh, we have a list of low cost, low effort image boosters to consider. Um, one of the most popular is just simply giving out free coffee or donuts or pie or something like that on campus, especially if you do that outside of one of the main engineering buildings, that's usually a great hit. Uh, make sure you put up posters, that's pretty easy. 
Um, attending classes is another huge one. Uh, consider your social media presence, as I just mentioned before. And then if you have an event that can be open to all engineering students, why not make it open to all of them and then advertise it to them and use that event that you're going to do anyway um, as an opportunity to build your image on campus. That's always a great way to go. Um, and then, you know, just hold your events in places where you'll be seen. That's another good option. Uh, take good care of your bent. So most chapters have a bent on their campus. Uh, it's actually a great opportunity for image boosting to hold a polishing event where you clean up your bent and polish it and make it look nice. Um, when I've done that, we almost always get people coming up to us asking us who we are, what we're doing, um, what the bent is, what it means. And that's always awesome. And a final one that some may not be aware of is initiating eminent engineers. Um, so an eminent engineer is someone who has been prominent and successful within the field of engineering, uh, usually with a career of at least 10 years. A good example would probably be your engineering dean or um, your department chairs. Initiate them. You can actually initiate them as Talbates if they're not already and uh, get an article posted on uh, the university website or the department website or whatever. And it could be a good opportunity to get your name out there, get some more recognition through that as well. Speaking of image boosting events, upcoming um, in just over a month now is Pi Day, uh, so March 14th. Um, I know a lot of chapters have spring break during then, so feel free to do something before or after, but Pi Day is generally a great opportunity to uh, do something that's going to help uh, display your membership. So a lot of chapters like to, to do different creative themes, but you can go simple with a Pi themed potluck, or you could go more advanced with something like a Pi a professor, Pi an officer, Pi a friend, something like that. Um, or pie hole, which is just cornhole, but on pie day. Um, whatever works for you, get creative um, and post photos from it. Some resources that we'll send out after this. Um, so there's a list of pie day activities uh, that other chapters have done that you're welcome to look over. The uh, student Adv advisory board uh, for Tower to Pi actually has a, a chapter toolkit with a bunch of unique resources, and one of them is a guide to involving underclassmen, and we highly recommend that. Um, it's a really good idea to start thinking about image in terms of uh, freshmen and sophomores in addition to the juniors and seniors that you're initiating, because you can kind of get Tower to Pi into their head early, and then they're more likely to, um, to be receptive to anything you, you send them later. Uh, in their academic career. Tab the Tabata Pie store has some um, free posters and promotional materials and brochures and stuff like that that we recommend you check out. Um, these are free, so you can just order them for your chapter. They'll arrive and you can put them up. For social mi media ideas, um, these are a year late, so they might have dried up a little bit. Hopefully they're still strong. But we recommend checking out um, these profiles for other chapters um, as good examples of what you can do with your social media. And then there's also some Tabata Pi graphics that you can look over and uh, grab and use for your posters and stuff like that. So we'll we we did more of like a mix of everything that was actually presented in the slides. So our biggest thing is to build a community on campus and feel like. Tabata Pi is a bigger engineering family that we can all communicate in, get to know one another. Uh, a big thing for us is getting, making sure that people get to know people outside of their major. Um, so you're not just stuck to the mechanical engineers or the aerospace engineers. If you're one of the two, and like you're reaching outside of your normal communication zones to contact different people. And so a way we do that is we make sure we have all of the types of events that you mentioned. We have community service events where we invite everybody. We have on-campus events that are open to the entire college, but we also have ones that are specific to members and candidates. 
Um, we also do a lot of a vast majority of our events are social events. Uh, so that way we can get to know candidates and they can get to know us, that sort of thing. And then we also hold professional development and personal development sessions with speakers and workshops and that sort of thing. So we kind of have a mixed bag, but I think it helps to develop what that community that we like to have at our chapter. Um, I came from a chapter that also, well, I, I have experience in two chapters, I guess for my background first. Um, I was the Arizona Alpha president. It was like a medium to large chapter. And then I was also at Illinois Alpha, which I say is a bit of a larger chapter. Um, but at both those chapters, we did also a mix, like Kavya described, of um, community, community service, social, professional development. Um, so we had events in all of those categories. Um, so we'd have like a designated event that we designate as like a social event and then a service event and a um, professional event. Um, so then people would know what to expect when they attended. Um, most of these events were internal to Tau Beta Pi. We didn't do a whole lot of events uh, like open to the entire college. Uh, I guess one exception is that Arizona Alpha, we hosted the Order of the Engineer ceremony for seniors um, for the entire college. Um, so I thought that was a cool way to promote Tabata Pi. Unfortunately, it's for seniors who are graduating. So like, uh, <laughs> I don't know if you're really recruiting there, um, but it's good to get Tabata Pi's name out there in that event. And then we also helped uh, get our name out there at the honor ceremony. Like every year there's like a fall honor ceremony of like the Dean's List and like honorable mentions. Um, so we'd try to help um, get a little tau bit of pie symbol on people's names for that. We have, we also did order of the engineer and we also have an engineering barbecue that is open to everybody at the very beginning of the semester, every semester. Um, for that one, we usually, add, so we advertise a few different ways. Um, and this is kind of the way that we advertise in general. Uh, so we'll first we'll send out letters. So in the mail to everybody who's eligible and within those letters, uh, like within the mailing, we include a president's letter. So a letter from the president, a letter from the dean, who is also a Taubate. Um, and so if your dean is in the Taubate, eminent engineer, make them a Taubate. <laughs> uh, it really helps. <laughs> so we have that. And then we have a flyer that advertises our barbecue and it explains like what we do and like how it's like a fun three hour event, whatever, come join us, bring your dog, bring your family, bring friends, whatever. Um, and so that will go out to everybody who's eligible. We'll also go around to freshman and sophomore and freshman and sophomore classes and transfer orientation to talk about how this is an event for the entire college. So if you would like to come, please come. By the way, it's hosted by Tommy to Pie. So if you don't know who we are, here's our little spiel. We hope to see you soon. Um, and then we leave flyers in all of those classrooms so people can access them. Another thing that we do is we'll also do like when as part of our list, we will receive the emails and phone numbers for all the students at the school, emails, phone numbers and addresses for all the students um, that are eligible. And so we can call them in addition to mailing them all of that information. And so we do cold calls. So we'll sit down as a group of officers and call all 200 something students that are eligible <laughs> and invite them to the barbecue because that's an easy thing to invite people to since it's open to the entire College of Engineering. So that's like our biggest way of advertising. Obviously we'll have flyers throughout the engineering building. That's an easy one that if you don't have a lot of manpower, just print out a whole bunch and stick them all over the engineering uh, building. You, that most people see those and they're like, oh, that's that sounds kind of cool, I'll join. So that's another way we do things, but that's the gist in general, recruitment and advertising for big events. Uh, one of the events that we hosted for people not in Tau Beta Pi at uh, Arizona Alpha was tutoring. Uh, so we would have certain hours every week um, in a reserved room where we would have Tau Bates there, open office hours, anybody can walk in and get tutoring on, on subjects. 
was targeted at underclassmen, so freshmen and sophomores, um, who are in classes who like most upperclassmen Tau Bates could still like tutor in kind of regardless of major, you know, things like vector calc or diff EQ um, intro classes. Um, and we would advertise this with posters around the around the engineering building. We'd also get the freshman academic advisors to send out emails advertising it. Um, you just need to make sure that you have people at the office hours when you say people are going to be there. Otherwise, um, you know, people get discouraged and won't show up. Um, and then, as I said before, I also had the order of the engineer. But I think the the tutoring was good, especially since it's aimed at underclassmen. Um, so these are people who might join Tawi to Pi in the future. You know, they get something out of it. They see kind of the value of Tawi to Pi, something that Tawi to Pi is doing. Um, and then hopefully like learn the name when they're invited later on. Um, and so we had, we had a Facebook account, we had an Instagram, they were mostly dead. Uh, the Facebook especially was very dead. <laughs> what we did to make a bounce back um, is we had a group of people, like we, we essentially created committees within our officer group and then extended it to members. And so the committees would each tackle different issues. So we now have three different committees. We have a marketing committee, we have a membership recruitment and retention committee, and we have an official activities committee. So the marketing committee does what you think marketing committees would do. They handle our social media account and there is a person dedicated to this role. If you have a person dedicated to making sure your social media is up to date, it'll make sure that it actually happens as opposed to having all of the officers be a point of contact for and being responsible for that task. Um, just give it to somebody. I think that's the easiest way to go about that process and make sure that it stays up to date. Another thing is like sometimes it's hard to like post when you don't have pictures or things. So which uh, Alan mentioned earlier, like take lots of photos so you can do that. And one thing that we've been toying with this idea and it uh, might be a, a become a success because it's worked in the past. Uh, we have our officers, when they're running events, they take pictures of the events and upload those photos so that the person managing the social media always has a reserve to pull from. And if they did like forgot to take pictures or whatever, you can go to previous years and pull some of those too. One new thing that we're implementing is maybe a bingo system for the officers. It's like, oh, take a picture at, of like this particular event. Take a picture at this event where somebody's doing this. And then potentially getting like members and candidates involved and they submit their submissions and they get a prize at the end. Uh, and then that helps do your little photo thing. So you always have things to talk about. But that's that's one way. Having a dedicated person is definitely step one. So if you're like us and you didn't do, you haven't done anything with it, that's start there and you'll get somewhere. Today, but from the perspective of a president, if you have like one officer dedicated to social media, I think it's important to support that person. Um, we had uh, one social media chair who like seemed really dedicated when we elected her, like, you know, was excited about Tawi to Pai, but I felt like she never got the support from like the rest of the officer board. Like nobody ever talked about social media. Um, so she, you know, wasn't, I guess, about to just go like do her own thing and like do the social media. Um, so it's important to like have that conversation and like, bring it up and like, you know, social, like Kavya, social media chair, like, what are you thinking of posting this week? Or, you know, what, what do you need from us? Or what are you thinking of putting in the social media? You know, just like to make sure as with all your officers, you should be supporting them and like making sure that they have the resources that they uh, need to do their job. From the point of view of like a smaller chapter, like my, my chapters were never big enough where we could have one person dedicated to social media. And in those cases, what I recommend is um, first, like Kavya mentioned, any officer that is running an event should be responsible for taking at least one photo. And that photo doesn't have to be like something crazy. It could just be one person having fun. Um, what I would often tell my officers when, you know, if, if an event doesn't have great uh, turnout, you know, if there's only a few people there, it doesn't matter. Just take a photo, make sure everyone's smiling, and it's still going to be a great image boosting um, opportunity uh, to get it out there. So 
any officer who's uh, running an event should take a photo. And then um, another option there is just uh, every week, a different officer is assigned to post something. And that something could be a photo from an event, or it could be something completely unrelated. It could be a meme. It could be, um, you know, a congrats to someone for getting a, an award or something, if that has happened to someone in the university or something like that. Just something so that you consistently have a presence, you consistently have posts, because I do think it matters for candidates if they're like scrolling through your social media to see some consistency in uh, posting. So just two recommendations there if you are coming from more of a smaller um, chapter. One is if you do have a social event like they're talking about, um, and you have the ability, like if it's gonna be fully covered for whoever attends, um, then you might as well invite more people. So besides your own chapter members, you can invite those who are eligible to join and maybe it'll, it'll give them a, a, a stronger image of Tabitha Pai and it will make them want to join and be involved. Or, you know, if they're already going to join, it'll make them want to be more involved, hopefully. Um, I do think one of the strongest things about Tabitha Pai is the community that it builds with like really cool people. And so if you can get them in a room with people that they wouldn't meet either, either uh, otherwise um, from other majors, but also from other universities in the case of the conference, then, you know, that's going to be a huge plus. Um, if you reach out to your, um, your dean, like your dean of engineering, you might also be able to get some welcome signs posted where it's like, welcome Tau Bates or something like that, welcome Tau to Pi conference something like that. Um, and you can use that as an image booster. After the fact, um, reach out to them again and um, try to get an article posted on the website about the conference. That's a really good way to get your name out using what has happened. Um, and then as with everything, and we've mentioned a few times, just make sure you're taking a lot of photos throughout the conference, um, preferably with people smiling and then uh, post those afterwards. And that way, you know, those three things will give you opportunities to use the event that you're already running and um, give it a, you know, give makes the most out of it in terms of an image booster. 